We're going to set up Johnny's new tracker system here. I'll run through some of the components that are on it first, and then you can see what we've got. In the plane, we've got the Easy OSD, and that's got a GPS unit on it. GPS unit is sending out an audio signal, which comes down from the plane through the audio channels of the video transmitter, and is picked up by the tracker. This is the uh, tracker here. We've got the receiver there, that's receiving both the video and the audio signals. We've got the actual tracker unit itself there, and that's making sense of the audio that is coming through from the GPS unit in the plane. We've got the antenna there, the Immersion RC circular polarised antenna. We've got a nice little skew antenna there. And then we've got it mounted on this pan and tilt system. There's a tilt. And the pan is just down here, which is a meaty 50 kilogram servo just in there. This is the first time we've set this up, so we need to get into the menu system to set the endpoints for the tilt and the pan down here. To get into the menu, you press the center button. And what we need to do now is we need to go down here and we need to see how many degrees the tilt is actually doing. Once we're in the menu system, one of the first things to do is check that stuff is working the right way. We're in the tilt degree setting here, and if we go up, uh, that seems to be going down. So that's clearly the wrong way. What we need to do is we need to reverse the tilt function. So we go down through the menu system, and then we get to tilt reverse, yes, go back up, now we can set that up again. What you do need to do to manually check it is where it says servo set, you can have that on no or yes, and we've currently got it on yes so we can test things. So at the moment, tilt degrees is minus 10, if I build that up, now you can see that that is moving up. So if we get it to 90 degrees, which is there, you can actually see that it's not gone full 90 degrees. So if we go back down to zero, zero is there, it's not quite pointing forward, but zero is there. And if we go up to 90, from that point there, it should move 90 degrees. And as you can see, it's not. So we do need to alter the, uh, the server. So to alter the tilt degrees and the end point of the tilt degrees, that's at 90 degrees and clearly that's not right from the from the start. We go down the menu system to where it says tilt US 360. If we move that number up there, what you can see happening is that then moving up. And that needs to go to 90 degrees from where it started. And I would say that's not far off 90 degrees. So I'll move it down a little bit just to be sure. There we go. So you just alter that. Now if we go back up now to the tilt degrees, so 90 degrees, we bring that down. That should move 90 degrees. So that's zero degrees, 90 degrees. So that's moved pretty much 90 degrees. So that's right. So on to pan now, same thing. We need to get pan to do 90 degrees. I've got this sat with the with the side of the unit facing me. And basically I need to swap it around now 90 degrees so it's facing directly away from me. So if I set that to 90 degrees, It's not far off, but it could do with just a little bit more movement that. So to change that, I just come out of that menu there. I go down to pan, and I'm just going to up that a little bit. And that, according to Dino, is now bang on. Now when your unit's panning, what you do need to check is that the pan on the positive is going to the right. And as you can see, this one ain't, it's going to the left. So what we need to do is come out of that menu. And you need to go to pan reverse, which is there, turn that off. And then if you go back into pan, pan degrees with servo set on. When the servo set on, that's basically so you can manually move it. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go. Perfect. One other thing you can do is if the, the offset of that is not quite right, you can actually alter the tilt offset there and get that straight up and down. So I'm just altering the tilt offset there to 10 degrees. And that's now spot on. When you've got all those set up, what you need to do is set your maximums. The tilt max is at 90 degrees, so that, that won't actually go any more than, uh, than 90 degrees there. The tilt minimum is 0 degrees. I tend to just set that at minus 10, so just point down a little bit. It doesn't really matter. Your, um, your pan maximum and pan minimum need to be set at 180. 180 plus 180 is 360. don't really need the offset on there. I don't really need pan reverse at the moment. Servo test. So if we do that, make sure the wires are out of the way for the first time. We can do a servo test to check that everything works. The actual tracker unit now is doing a test, making sure that everything's working. You can check that your wires aren't tangled up at the moment. Obviously, this is just a test, so we've got batteries dangling down, wires everywhere, it all needs tidying up. But this is the first run of this tracker unit. It should pan around a full 360 from minus 180 to plus 180. But it's still testing it. You can see that the uh, actual tilt unit's going down and then it pans it back. Great way of checking, making sure that you've got no wires snagged up, making sure that the gear's working fine, making sure that everything's working without getting things tangled up. Obviously if something gets tangled up when you're flying, it's going to cause you some major issues. Right, so we're going to test the plane now. Here's Johnny. <laughs> What we're going to do with this is we're going to see if we can actually get the antenna tracker working. Now we are like in my backyard, which is far from big, so we might struggle a little bit. What we need to do first is the Easy OSD is installed in there. You can just see the buttons poking out. It's, I mean, the battery is just thrown in just for the sake of it. Um, obviously, that needs to down for flight and everything. What we have done is we've set the Easy OSD to home, so it knows its home position. Now what we need to do is we need to calibrate the tracker. You need to do this every time you go to a new flying site. Alright, so one thing to check is that you've actually got a signal coming through. And as you can see, we're getting data from the plane straight away. And you've got your audio levels there. The audio, you can actually hear the audio there. That's a signal coming down from the GPS. That's going into there. You can actually hear what it sounds like. It sounds like an old Spectrum or an Am Amstrad CPC 464, if you can remember them. One of the first things you need to do is set the home position of the plane. The plane needs to be next to a tripod. Press the middle button. And you click on set home. You click the middle button on set home. Next thing we need to do is calibrate the tracker. <laughs> now gone mad. So press on the calibrate button, centre button again. And then what we need to do, we need to move the plane away from the tracker. So Johnny's now walked away from the tracker. There he is, looking gruesome in my backyard. And he's lined up with a tracker. Now what I need to do now, he ideally need to be about 20 paces away, so he's a little bit too close there. When he's done that, press the middle button. Well, it should now be calibrated, so we will test it. Right, so we'll see if it's working. Now Johnny's over there, and nothing's touching that. So if Johnny walks to my right, over to the other side of the garden. Oops, there we go. It's followed him. Now, there is going to be an issue of where it is at the moment, because it is really, really close in. Um, when you're trying to set it up really close in, and, and the closer you come to the tracker, the more inaccurate it's going to be. Now that's where the uh, this little baby comes into its own. Well, if Johnny walks to the left and stays pretty far away, it's following him around quite nicely. There you go. That's doing a job great. Thumbs up, Johnny. Thumbs up. Right, so what Johnny's going to have a go at now is he's going to have a go at setting this up for the first time. So it's middle button to get into the menu. Click on set home. It'll probably... It's somewhere. 
Yep, so set home and that'll probably spin round. And the next thing you need to do then is we need to take this plane away. So we'll go for a walk with the plane. There you go, some first person view flying in the back garden. But what you need to do now, Johnny, is uh, you need to press calibrate. Is, that's pointing to me, yeah? Yeah. Right, and then press it again. Yeah, that's done. So what we should find now is that is indeed tracking this plane. You need to sort of, if you're testing it out, you need to be outside where you calibrated it, really, because if you go inside the, the imaginary circle of where you calibrated it, that radius, it will probably go mad, which that's not doing bad, actually. That's not too bad at all, but that's working. So uh, what we can do now, before we finish, before we finish, we can have a first person view fly around the garden. Yeah. <laughs> Pass my tracker to Johnny's tracker. To Johnny's head. Oh, I've killed him! So that's it. Easy as that to set up a tracker. Easy tracker, easy to do. There's one. And there's two.